Oh. Hello and welcome to a very chilly um, Bears, Raggy's Bears, Wines and Spirits reviews. Today, in the beer room, it's 11 degrees and that's the coolest it's been uh, well, this year, you know, this back end of the year. So, just a one quick review tonight, get back in the house where the warmth is. Uh, I've got a heater for in here, but uh, it don't, it's not worth putting it on unless I'm going to be here in a while. A while. So, tonight, I'm going to review the Marston's um, DE14 Flight Suite. Uh, the Orange Pale Ale, 5.1%. Curiously, at Lidl, um, they've got an Orange Pale Ale out. The can is so similar, it's unbelievable. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's made by Marston's as well. And that's at 6 percenter. And this is this is five point one, so maybe they upped. Maybe if it is Marston's, they upped the AM ABV on that. Uh, no one's saying anything, of course, because obviously you know they're not allowed to probably. So on the back it says we built our exciting DE fourteen brewery with a single purpose in mind to brew the kind of innovative beers we love drinking. Our conversation started on juicy pale ales. With a heavy citrus streak, we knew our DE14 Pilot Brewery could create something special. It didn't disappoint. Flight Sweet is a punchy, refreshing orange pale ale, crammed with five different hop varieties and dry hopped with a generous quantity of Mandarina Bavaria to give the beer the beer a heady marmalade aroma for an impressive orange sharpness. So yeah, yeah, first time. Um, this was also at M M Morrison's Beer Festival. Uh, we'll give it a crack. We'll give it a crack. See what it looks like. Oh, <sighs> definite orange in the um, aroma, at least. So I poured, <laughs> and then there was light. Um, poured into a Stella Cedra bottle, a uh, uh, glass, which has its own like widgety things in the bottom. Uh, the lacing carbonation, it's it's there. It's it's a bit light, I would say, but uh, it's there. Good white head on it, as you can see. Nice. What would you class that as? Like an amber colour, isn't it? Like gold, amber, that sort of colour. Right. Definite hops there. Oh. Hmm. Right, I'll give it a drink. Quickly go on the internet, have a look at a few other reviews and uh, see if they, if I agree with what they're going to say. Definite hoppiness in the flavour. Definitely orange. Orange slash tangerine. And I, and I could have sworn I got a taste of treacle as well, funnily enough. Right. While my mouth gets used to that, let me go on the internet and try and, uh... oh, it's chilly. So, interesting, this will be for the winter months, because obviously doing beer reviews in here in the winter months might be uh, testing. So, uh, DE14. Orange, uh, orange, pale, ale, review. And would you believe it, the internet's not having it. So it's nice and clear anyway, you know, nice, nice look. The, the head's gone down, but it is still lasting. 
uh, Flight Suite, no. Is it called Flight Suite? Yeah, it is as well. Definitely get that orange in the taste. It's not too much, too orangey. You know, it's a nice um, orange. Mm. Um, I definitely liking that. And the, the internet's having a, having a dicky. So, oh, see if I can turn off my. Uh, Turn off the Wi-Fi and just have the... Right. So go back. And click on it again. And lo and behold, much faster this time. So, 3.18 out of 5. From 20 ratings. Golden like a tangerine, cascades of flavours, not overpoweringly citrusy as you'd expect, a little zesty on the back of the tongue, slightly bitter aftertaste but not enough to put you off another. Mild pale in comparison, easy tasting, beautiful little tipple. Yeah, that person's getting 3.2 out of 5. Can pour amber with a big head and bright aromas of an orange marmalade. Given that no oranges are on the grapefruit ingredient list, the oranginess, oranginess of this beer is impressive. I didn't even look at the ingredients. Malty, crisp and moderately bitter with, yes, more toasty orange notes. Here's a 3.7. Poured with a medium head that was slow to dissipate. Quite bitter with some hops also present. There's definitely hops there, that's for sure. Medium body, which was quite hard hitting. Citrus and hops merged to produce a beer that shouldn't be underestimated. I totally agree with that, actually. Why do Marston's brand it as DE14 as if it was a trendy postcode? <laughs> so... Uh, floral grain at aroma, amber yellow, good bubbly cream head, fruity orange caramel flavour, some floralness, quite fizzy but this doesn't detract from the drinking experience. So yeah, mm. quite nice and refreshing, uh, you know that hint of fruitiness uh, without it being a proper fruit bit because it's obviously you know it's a pale ale but with that orange in the taste um, yeah. yeah it's not a bad pleasant ale and I think it's better than the uh, little version that may or may not be Marston's that's slightly stronger 5.1 you wouldn't know it was a 5.1 uh, to me it tastes like a 4 you know it tastes like most standard um, uh, like ciders that all seem to be 4% and like you carling and all them uh, the taste is better you know I'm on about the strength and taste, you know, from when you drink it. Definite hops to start off with. And then the citrus and the orange come through quite quickly. And it definitely lingers as well. It's nice. It's very nice, very pleasant. do get um, quite a varying amount of um, taste coming through um, more than what they're saying and more than what there's some I, I, I can't recognize but yeah very nice and short-lived as well there's a there's a taste at the end It's like washing liquid, but I might be wrong. <laughs> so, out of five, ooh, I thought that was a, a pretty decent beer, really. Um, I'm gonna give it a 4.2 out of five. You know, I, I quite like that. Yeah, not bad at all. Decent effort. Um, Morrison's again, where I got it from. 
I do like Morrisons. I think they are by far the head and shoulders above all the others when it comes to beers. Although Little and Aldi are pretty decent as well, but uh, Morrisons, the amount of new beers coming through, you know, every week I go in, I'm picking up a couple of beers that I've not had. And uh, for somebody like me, you know, it's great. I and mean, it's cost me a fortune recently in all these beer festivals. But, you know, if you want a review of the beers, you've got to buy the beers. Unless you get them for free. But uh, that's not happening for me. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. See you soon.